and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm kind of working backwards because I've already made this soap and I didn't have my camera with me so I'm doing the introduction after I made, aren't these adorable? These little, is that a sunflower, a black-eyed Susan, a daisy, I don't know what that is but it's cute. So I made these little soap cupcakes and I'm going to show you how I did it using this little silicone mold that I just found at my local grocery store in the Easter decorating section. I found it at a Walmart um, for $3.50. So I got, I grabbed the last three ones that they had in stock. Sorry if somebody went in after me. But, <laughs> but anyway, I thought they were so cute. So I poured a little bit of brown down in the middle and then the yellow and the cupcakes and all of that. It was a two day process. Um, I actually messed up a little. Let me tell you what happened. So uh, what I meant to do was pour my flowers and then wait the next day, pour the cupcakes and pop them on the wet cupcake batter. And I put my green colorant in what was gonna be the flowers. So I ended up pouring the cupcakes and the flowers the same day. And so to fix that, I made soap frosting. So. I poured the cupcakes and the flowers the same day. The next day I had to come in with soap frosting and plant them in there so that they would stick. But it turned out really cute. So anyway, let me show you the colors that I'm using for this little design today. For the um, brown, here it is. For the brown, I used a gingerbread brown mica for the little um, you know seed portion of the flower. And then for the green, I love this baby grasshopper green. It's so cute and like springy and I think it's really pretty. So that is the green portion on these for the cupcake and the frosting. And for the yellow petals on the flower, I used Sunday Fun Day. Isn't that cute? So those are the colors that I used in this soap. For the fragrance that I used, I had this um, Meadow Grass and Wild Flower from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And it smells really good. It is, it's kind of green. It's not super floral, but there's a little bit of floral in there. It really does kind of smell like a fresh meadow of wildflowers. I think it's wonderful. It did, uh, it didn't speed trace, but you know, I'm glad I didn't putz around. It's one of, it's one where you want to be prepared to move. So that's the fragrance that is in these little flowers. <laughs> so I don't need to get everything pulled together because I've already made them but I'll show you the footage <laughs> of making of these flowers. So come along and just, we're gonna make some happy little spring soap cupcake flowers and I think my granddaughter's gonna love these. So anyway, enjoy the video. And this is gonna be an aloe vera soap today um, just cause I thought aloe is green and it kind of went along with the whole botanical theme and the scent. So aloe vera is going in the soap. So the audio portion when I was pouring my flowers and my cupcake bases was really wonky and so I'm just going to talk you through what I did yesterday. Um, so anyway I poured a little bit of brown and I'll show footage of the pouring of these. A little bit of brown in the bottom to make the little seeds portion of these pretty little bright flowers. I don't know if they look like sunflowers or black eyed Susans or daisies but they're just happy and pretty. Um, and here is just the green base in my little flower pots. So now I'm gonna go and get my frosting prepped. So I'm gonna put a nice little bead of frosting on the cupcakes, plant my little flowers on top, and that's gonna be the finished bar. And uh, I'll talk you through as I'm getting the frosting going. I'm just gonna make a half batch of this recipe because I want the ingredients to be the same. It's a really wonderful recipe. Um, and that will be my frosting. So in the meantime, I've got to get all my cute little flowers out of the molds here. And this mold I got at my local Walmart in the Easter decorating um, section. They had these, they were $3.50 each, and I'm like, those are so cute. So I grabbed them. I have no idea 
if they're still available. These were the last three that they had in the store, so I grabbed them at my local Walmart, but um, that's where I got these little flower molds. Aren't those adorable? And these hold just a little over two ounces of soap, so that's a nice, sturdy little size bar right there. So anyway, let me get these unmolded, and we'll get moving on with the frosting portion to glue all this together. All right, so my tiny little oil bucket here, and this is so cute to make such a tiny batch of soap for me. I don't do small batches very much, so this is fun. So I have all my oils and butters melted. I put a little bit of colloidal oats and kale and clay in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my green mica, this really cute baby grasshopper again, which is uh, the same as in here, and this also has a little bit of the brown swirled in it. So the baby grasshopper for the frosting, I'll just put it right in the oils here, because this is just gonna be one color and I'll blend it up and uh, get a nice, you know, thick trace on this because this is all going to be for frosting. Let me show you. The frosting tip is just this simple open hole tip here. Uh, it's a Wilton something. I can't read the numbers under there. But anyway, just an open hole just to get it down on here. So, um, yeah, let me get this blended in. Then we'll add our aloe vera lye solution. All right, I got the green blended in there. Isn't that such a pretty color? Um, and now I have my aloe vera lye solution here that I'm just going to blend in again to a nice, you know, a good thick trace if I can because this is going straight into the piping bag. So we'll get that blended in. The fragrance is already in here. And being a floral, it does, it doesn't accelerate, but it does move along quickly. So I'm hoping this will come up to piping consistency pretty quick. And the green will morph colors a little bit, but it'll come back. The greens tend to do that, so uh, don't be surprised if it, you know, looks a little more army green than that pretty light green. All right, so I'm going to just wait for this to get up to piping consistency. I stick blended it nice and thick, so it should get there pretty quickly. And then I'll get it in the piping bag and we'll get to assembling our little flowers here. So it's the next day and I figured I'd show you how I get these out of the little silicone cup liners and I just got a whole bunch of these from Amazon and uh, look at how easy it just pops right out and aren't those just the cutest these are happy little cupcake bars <laughs> 